guys, what's up? It is me, Ashmoff here, and today I am doing a DIY journal for back to school and to like DIY your school supplies. You can do this on folders, binders, journals, viral notebooks, whatever you want to call them. You can do it on anything. And I saw some of these like ideas online, like the pictures, and it's like that would be really cute on a journal, so I'm gonna put it on a journal. So that's what I did. You go from plain Jane Black, these adorable journals and yeah I did all of them without anyone's help so they were all done by me and if you stay tuned you can see how you can do them so stay tuned and watch for that and in my last video I told you guys I would be doing a giveaway and I will be doing a giveaway it will be mentioned all about in my next video so stay tuned for that video it will be coming very soon I promise I just need one more thing till I can do the video for the giveaway. Now we'll just tell you all the rules in that next video, but for now we're doing the DIY journals. Comment down below if you did any of them and which one you liked best and if you want me to give one away in my giveaway or something, I can add it in there if you want. Or yeah, tell me if you want to do any of them. But anyways, let's get into the video. For the first DIY, you will need a composition notebook or whatever you are DIYing, and three different types of paint. I have white acrylic for a base, and then a black and teal blue puffy paint for the design. I'm using a sponge brush, and I also have a small brush, a pencil, and a sharpie, which is optional. To start, I'm taking the white paint and sponge brush to coat the entire notebook. You may need several coats of paint to fully cover the notebook. After the paint has dried, I'm drawing on the Volkswagen bus with a pencil, but my head is in the way, so let's fast forward to where you can actually see it. <laughs> this part is optional, but I'm just taking the Sharpie and outlining what I drew in pencil so it was easier for you guys to see. <laughs> I'm now taking my blue puffy paint and a paintbrush to paint the Volkswagen bus. I would give anything to change this fickle minded heart that loves fake shiny things. Now I'm dark and I'm missing you. I'm gonna be like you. I'm only human, can't you see? I'm now taking the blue again to paint the top to match the bottom. I am now taking my black puppy paint and I'm outlining where I'd outlined with the black sharpie. And here is the final result. For this DIY, you will need four different kinds of paint. I have white acrylic paint and three different colors of puffy paint and a sponge brush. So again, I am starting off with the white base on my journal and then I'm just taking my black puffy paint and I'm putting dots on. I'm now taking my blue puppy paint and I'm adding even more dots. I'm now taking my pink or red colored puppy paint and I'm adding, can you believe it, even more dots. And then I'm going to go back in with all three colors and fill in that blank space. And here is the final result. For this DIY, you will need four different colors of paint. I have blue, gold, white, and pink. I have tape. I would recommend painter's tape or something that doesn't stick really easily. And I would recommend having at least three sponge brushes, but I only had two, so yeah. And again, we are starting off with the white face, and then I'm taking my scotch tape, and we are going to split the journal into three sections with it. 
We are then going to take the pink paint and we are going to paint the top section of the notebook. We are then going to take the gold paint and we're going to paint the little middle section that we have on the notebook. Then we're going to take our blue paint and we're going to paint the bottom section that we have with the blue. And now it's time for the reveal, so we're going to peel off the tape and see what we're left with. And here is the final look. For this DIY, you'll need three different types of paint. I have blue, white, and gold. You'll need a stencil, two paint brushes, or three if you have them, and some scotch tape. For this DIY, we are taking the blue paint and fully covering the notebook cover. I thought I would know better. Figure out where I want to put my stencil and then I'm going to secure it down with scotch tape. That's wishful drinking. Is anything far? I'm now going to take my gold paint and I'm going to dab it onto one of the arrows. What have I been so afraid of? I don't know. I am now going in with the white and dabbing it on and then I'm going to go back to the gold and then I'll go back to white again. When the paint has dried, we are going to peel off the stencil. And here is the final result. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're trying it, comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this or anything, subscribe, hit the like button, do all that. And if you subscribe, you can stay tuned for my next video where I'll be talking about a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Personally, this one's my favorite. I feel like it has a lot of character, it's unique, and I did it all by myself and it looks like you bought it from a store. How could you not love that? I love this one because it has the gold and the white and the blue and right now that is just a great color scheme. It kind of matches my room so if I wanted to I could probably use this as a decoration. How cute is that? It's like a spin-off of a folder I saw. There was like pink, blue, and the gold and it had like this, the three sections kind of but I wanted to do it in like a different border I guess and have like the white showing behind it so hopefully you guys like that. This one was my least favorite I did. I wish I had gone small and then made it bigger. The colors work well together if you can see them on camera. It looks a little bit better in person than it does on camera personally but I still wish I went small then bigger as it went out and a little bit more spread out though but too close so anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.